up guys, it's Brianna aka Mini Marley and today's tutorial is about how I straighten my hair. Yes, the elephant in the room is my new straight hair and I'm loving it so far. This is Saturday and I flat ironed it last Monday and it's holding up really really well and I can't stop playing with this and I'm just really excited because I haven't had my hair really really straight since my last perm and basically I flat ironed my hair about three times since I've been natural and every single time it comes out like still frizzy you know I always blow, blow dry it and then flat iron it and it never comes out super straight the ends are always puffy they're never really straight and it lasts for like three four days tops which is super annoying because you just damaged your hair a little with this heat and then fluffs right up. So I was super happy that this time it came out perfectly and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did to get these results and hopefully you guys can do it too and let me know how it turns out. If you don't know on my Instagram account at mini underscore Marley if you hashtag mini Marley inspired I can see all of the hairstyles that you've tried from my tutorials and I can repost them on my Instagram page so don't forget to follow me on Instagram. But anyway without further ado let's get started with this tutorial and again I use the flat iron from flat iron experts thank you guys so much for the flat iron. i really actually did enjoy it it was really good and i do recommend that you guys go out and get a ceramic flat iron it works really well and yeah shout out to flat iron experts so without further ado here is a tutorial on how i got my hair super straight and popping let's get started so for this tutorial you're gonna need some rollers depending on how long your hair is they might be this big or smaller and you're gonna need a Denman brush and some mousse and I'm using the Shea Moisture Frizz Free Curl Mousse. Now I personally do not know how to roller set my hair so I enlisted the help of my mother for this while I was home in Florida and all she did so far is just section off the top part of my hair first and she roller sets from the top down and this is how she's been roller setting my hair ever since it was perm. Nothing really changed except that I used a natural hair type mousse for this one but yeah all she's doing right now is roller setting it so I'll just let you guys watch and see exactly how she does that. So before my mom started roller setting my hair, I made sure that my hair was thoroughly detangled so that she didn't have too much detangling to do as she went because she is just not patient. If you have seen my Big Chop video, you know that. So right now all she's doing is roller setting it and it's very important that you pull the hair tight, as tight as you can. You know, obviously don't pull it out, but the whole point is that we're trying to straighten out the roots and get the ends to lay flat because I found that every time I blow dried my hair before I straightened it, it really just didn't come out. Out super straight the ends are always puffy and this was the only way that I found so far that works that gets the ends to lay smooth and you know it just pull like stretches out your roots for you so that it makes the straightening process a lot easier so that's all she's doing here I asked that she used my Denman brush and she's just pulling it tight and then roller setting it <laughs> Now as you can see my mom is using a lot of mousse and I guess that's up to you. I've seen this done without mousse and just water in other videos so I guess that just depends on your preference. This is just something that my mom has always done when my hair was permed and now. So that's what she did and it just really helps to smooth out the hair but whatever you have and whatever you decide to use that's also fine as long as it works and we're just trying to get the hair smoothed out before we straighten it. Thank you. 
If you're like me and you hate sitting under the dryer, here's a quick tip. When your hair is halfway dry, you can just loosen up the rollers and I just basically pull them so that they're kind of loose as you can see here and then they dry much quicker at the root. So now my hair is completely dry and I'm just getting rid of all those rollers and now you can see how straightened my hair already is and that just basically takes a lot of the hassle out of the straightening process. And when I blow dry my hair, it never gets too straight, especially at the end. So if you have that problem like I did, where your ends are just puffy and frizzy, go ahead and roller set your hair. And this definitely helps a lot. Okay, so excuse the ugly faces I make when I'm doing my hair. I know y'all do it too. And all I'm doing right now is just straightening my hair. So I know a lot of naturals are really strict about only passing the flat iron over their hair one time, but this is just the way I do it and this is what I need to do to get my hair straight. I have really thick hair as you guys can see in all my videos. So for me, I need to pass it over a couple of times and I also don't like to waste my time. So, you know, I wanna make sure that I actually really get my hair straight. Now, if you have finer hair, a finer texture, you're not going to need to pass a flat iron over your hair as many times as I do. And I think that that is why people get heat damage. If you have thinner hair, you need to make sure that you only try to do it about one or two times. But for me, I haven't gotten heat damage and I pass a flat iron over my hair a countless amount of times as you can see in this video and I like to do it on the roots a couple times to make sure that I get that area straight as well so again don't just watch this video and think that you can do the exact same thing just flat iron it as much as you need to to get it straight and if you have finer hair make sure that you don't pass the flat iron over it too many times <laughs> Now I know you guys have seen this done plenty of times but if you want to make sure that you get all the knots out as you go you can also use a small comb or a brush and pull it through as you flat iron your hair and just make sure that everything is nice and smooth. So I basically use the same technique throughout my entire head and now I'm at the top and of course you can create whatever kind of part you like. This particular time I decided to create a center part. So all I'm doing here is just curling my hair away from my face because I like to get kind of a bump. I don't like to have bone straight hair when I do straighten it. I still like to have a lot of body. So if you curl it under a little when you get to the ends, it just gives it some extra body. And also remember to get your edges and your roots because those are the areas that will start to curl up first if you have like a half inch flat iron those are the best for getting your roots but for me I'm pretty used to working with a one inch flat iron so I know how to get it as you can see right there so just go ahead and finish straightening your hair like so and let's see how it turns out <laughs>
Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you curl your hair under at the end. It just gives you some body and a much fuller look. So my hair is all flat ironed and straight right now, and this is what it's looking like. And I know it's a little bit puffy, but all I did was put a smoothing serum over it by Carol's daughter, and then I wrapped it overnight. And you can use some type of light oil or any smoothing serum by any brand, and that just creates some shine. But you don't want to use any heavily oily product or it's going to weigh down your hair. But just go ahead and wrap your hair overnight, and it gives you a much sleeker look. And this is about a week after I flat ironed my hair. I just wanted to show you guys the length and what it was looking like. This time it really stayed straight and I know it was because I roller set my hair first. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And again, this flat iron was from the flatironexperts.com. Thank you guys so much for sending it to me. I really enjoyed it and it worked amazing as you guys can see. So keep watching my videos, keep thumbsing up, liking, thumbsing up, <laughs> keep giving me thumbs up, liking, and subscribing to my channel. You guys are so freaking awesome. And my Instagram page is linked below, so don't forget to check me out on Instagram because I post a lot more pictures than I do videos, I promise. But now that this semester is over, I'm definitely going to have so many more videos, I promise. I've just been so busy with projects, finals, and all that college unimportant stuff. But now I can focus on you guys, the important things I love so much. So, yeah, stick around because I got a lot of videos coming up. Peace.